Corvair Chevrolet. We're here in Cottonwood looking at a 65 Monza and it's Cameo Beige just like mine back in New York. So my buddy spotted this on Craigslist and we thought we'd take a drive to Cottonwood and check out the 65 Corvair Monza convertible four speed. What color is this? Saddle tan interior? Brand new Clark's interior? Wood wheel. It's got a black painted Monza dash. Someone painted it black. It's got a plate there. I don't think it had air conditioning, but maybe somebody put gauges in it. It's got a radio and I'm gonna show you a few details of this. Corvair Automobile. The bushing here is not properly installed. And the steering box is a little loose, needs a rebuild. Tires are at least 20 years old. They're in perfect shape. No age cracking at all. Goodyear P185 8013 Decathlons with no date code. The beauty of undercoating. Covers up the rust. Get the gas door guard, a couple of new plastic mirrors. Does this thing have tinted glass? No. Yeah. Tinted glass for the vent window. I thought so, but not tinted here. Maybe the door was changed. Corvair Convertible has a much wider rocker panel, early and late. They put extra steel, extra wide, and double plated. But, 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 you've got to clean out the drain hole. There's a rubber flap here. And you've got to clean out the drains of the rocker because otherwise they get clogged full of sand and consequences rusty rockers hmm this car needs a bit of restoration work it's so shiny Got a beautiful shiny paint and rusty rockers what a shame Someone did a beautiful job painting this car. The paint is so shiny and smooth, nicer than mine. Uh huh. Looks familiar. Saw one of these Corsa. I think the badge was upside down. Optional gas door guard. And the fuel tank. Somebody went off roading with this thing. Doesn't smell of gas. Kind of funny. Maybe it's ethanol. It's evaporating. You'd smell it, wouldn't you? Yeah, somebody went off-roading in this thing. Bang, bang, boom. Multiple plates of steel all folded up. One, two, three, four. Four plates of steel all folded over from the factory. Oh, that bloody rust. Rust. 
mounted rockers. All because the sand wasn't cleaned out of the drain hole. No rust on the suspension though. And a rebuilt engine by an old Corvair Pro. Clark's welded dual exhaust with the incorrect hangers. Bolted onto the shroud. Nylon bushings on the inside? I think so. A little tight in this garage. It's got Corsa rear air grills and a rebuilt engine by an old pro. But no exhaust hanger. Where does it hang from there? I forget. Offenhauser oil pan. I like that bent pipe. Just needs to have the correct hanger. Fuel line is supposed to come through that hole with the grommet, with the starter wire, which is coming through this hole with an accelerator pivot. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Lots of little things needed. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Antifreeze. What do you think? Presto. Some big rats in the hood. 66 engine mount. I think it's time to replace it. Interesting. Well. Do you mind if I fire it up? No. Oh, because the pumps are weak. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens. Well, it feels like a quick shifter. Let's crank her up. And those oh, lifters, the lifters always tick, always, because they sit horizontal and they drain. Right, they're meant yeah, for the small block, small, block small block lifters that weren't meant to be sitting horizontal. So click in is just normal. Sounds nice and smooth. Five Monza. Came here to look at it for a friend, but he needs me to move in with him so I can do on the spot car repairs and do some restoration. Beautiful car. Shh. 
Chevrolet. Just checking for picks. Pallets. Alrighty. We've had our tour of the 65 Corvair. Nice horn. That's it. Oh, the engine turns off real, real quick, nice and tight. Yeah. Like I say, it's got less than 2,000 miles since it was yeah, built. Yeah, I can tell.